Hey there. In this video, we are going to look at the number of possible solutions that there are for systems that are linear linear systems, linear quadratic systems, and quadratic quadratic systems. So to look at the number of specific solutions that are possible in our various types of systems, we are going to look at this graphically because it's the easiest way to see the different possibilities. And we are going to look at each type of system one at a time here. We're going to look at a linear linear system first, and then a linear quadratic system, and then quadratic quadratic systems. First we're going to look at a linear linear system. Now a linear linear system, as the name suggests, is two straight lines on a graph. And in this case right here, we have two straight lines that cross in one single point here. So this linear linear system has one solution. Now that's going to be the case with a linear linear system unless one of two other special things happen. Now one of those special things is if you happen to have two lines that are exactly parallel to each other. Those two lines are parallel to each other. Those are never going to cross. Now I can adjust it a little bit like this. Uh, those lines don't seem to cross that we can see but the slopes of those two lines are not the same. So eventually, even if it's off the screen, they're going to cross somewhere, right? That doesn't mean that they have no solution. If they're exactly parallel, they have no solution. They never are going to cross because they have the same slope. That's one of the two special things that can happen. And you have zero solutions. The other special thing that can happen is if they happen to be exactly the same line like that, there's two lines that are in exactly the same place. They have infinitely many solutions because every point is common to both lines. So this has an infinite number of solutions. So in the case of two lines, you can have infinite number of solutions, you can have no solutions, or you can have one solution. So for a linear linear system, we can have two parallel lines that have zero solutions. We can have two intersecting lines that have one solution, or we can have two lines that are actually the same line that have infinitely many solutions. Next, we're going to look at a linear quadratic system. And of course, as the name suggests, it is a line and a parabola. If you look at this particular system here, this line and this parabola don't cross on the screen and in fact they're never going to cross because this is going to keep going at a constant slope and this is just going to get steeper and steeper downward like that. They're never going to intersect. So this particular system has no solutions, zero solutions. Now that's not always going to be the case. If this were higher up here, then you'd have this situation where they have two solutions if they intersected at two places. When you have a quadratic and a linear function together in a system, they can have two solutions. There's two points that are common to both. So you can have zero solutions or you can have two solutions. And in fact, you can have a third case here. If this line just touches that curve like that, but doesn't actually cross over. In other words, you say if this line is tangent to that curve, it's just touching it once, there's one solution. It's possible that there's one solution for a linear quadratic system. So you have those three different cases. You have two solutions, zero solutions, or that one solution there. So for our linear quadratic system, we can have our parabola and our line that do not intersect at all, so they have zero solutions. Or we can have it where the line just touches once, and there's one solution, or we can have it where the line intersects the graph twice of the parabola and has two solutions. So zero, one, or two possible for a linear quadratic system. And lastly, we're going to look at a quadratic quadratic system, which is of course two parabolas. So in this situation, these two parabolas don't intersect at all. This system has zero solutions because this one's opening down, this one's opening up, they're never going to cross. Now, that's not the only case that's possible here. Just like with a linear quadratic system, 
you can have a situation where these things cross twice. You can have more than one solution. You can have two solutions like that. So you can have zero solutions. You can have two solutions that they cross twice. And in between there, you can make a system where they actually have only one solution, where they just are tangent to each other, those two curves, where they just touch but don't actually cross over. So there's those three cases, one solution, no solutions, or two solutions for a quadratic quadratic system. There's quite a few different ways you can make a system of quadratics that has those different numbers of solutions. This one where they open different directions, uh, or if they happen to open the same direction, so if that one opens up like that, and we're a bit off the screen, that has two solutions. And if I move this one down here, it has no solutions even though they open the same direction there. This is steeper than the other one, so this is going to get wider and wider the farther you go there, and it's never going to cross. And you can have one solution if they open the same direction. If this happens to be right there like that, you can have it where they have that one common point where they touch but don't actually cross over. Now, the other thing that's possible here is you could have a situation just like for a linear linear, this uh, special case where you happen to have a situation where your two parabolas are actually the same parabola. In that case, you'd have infinitely many solutions, just like for a line. So really there's four possibilities for a quadratic quadratic, zero, one, two, or infinitely many. So for a quadratic quadratic system, we have the case where we have two parabolas that do not intersect, whether they open in opposite directions or the same direction like that. That's where we have zero solutions. Or we have the case where we have two parabolas that touch at a single point. Again, whether they open in opposite directions or the same direction, and they have one solution in that case. Or we have the case where we have two parabolas that intersect at two points. Again, whether they open in opposite directions or whether they open in the same direction, and that is two solutions. And then we had the special case where we had two parabolas that were actually the same, one on top of each other, and that's where we had infinitely many solutions. All right. So that's a look at the possible numbers of solutions for the different types of systems that we've been looking at.